not afraid. Everyone that God needed and everyone that God needs today tends to be afraid of this new thing that God is about to do through them. That tends to be our first response. Fear. In the Advent devotional sense, delivering the gift of hope at Christmas, Pastor Jacob Armstrong puts it like this. Over the years, we've made, out, made those people out to be courageous heroes. But their stories begin with fear that comes when you realize God wants to use you. The Christmas story is for those who are afraid. It is for the old couples who think life has passed them by. It is for pregnant, unwed teenagers. It is for those facing punishment by death. It is for those who fear they won't make it through the scary economic times, or their latest diagnosis, or another anxiety-filled day. This story is for the afraid. It is for the people who thought they would live out their existence on the third shift unseen by the world and perhaps by God. No, says God, you are going to have an important role in my greatest work, the reconciliation of all people. Now maybe you, like the shepherds did, maybe you find yourself faced with the opportunity to do a new thing. Maybe you're ready for a new job or to start a new relationship. Maybe God has put on your heart the desire to birth a new ministry right here in this church. Maybe somebody has been on your mind, somebody that you have been thinking of inviting to this place or inviting for a cup of coffee or out to lunch and you just haven't done so yet. Maybe you've seen the glory of the Lord and you've, surrounded, you've been surrounded by the light. But also like the shepherds, you are terrified of what you've seen and you are too afraid to leave the field. You can sense that God is doing a new thing in your life. You can feel it. You can tangibly grasp that something is happening. But you're scared. And you just don't know if the journey is worth the risk.